How's it going? I'm Austin Smith. This is my fire truck or micro dojo. This is breakdown number six since so uh, we've been hanging out. Yeah, I never would have. I mean, it's totally ridiculous. Kind of runs like shit. Screams for way too much attention for me. Too much character, too much, kind of too much everything. But my brother bought it and then it fell into my lap. Now I want to change a thing. Good luck finding another 1953 GMC fire truck though. I don't know if these ones are going to be mass produced here. I've never lived in a vehicle before. I've never lived in a parking lot before. I wasn't sure if I'd like it. There's a lot of variables. So I finished the truck New Year's Eve, December 31st, and then I was up here at Mount Bachelor for the following six weeks. It's super cold up here. I think the first week it was like minus five, and so that was kind of part of the learning curve. I started snowboarding when I was 12 years old. I started doing it as my job or professionally, however you want to call it, when I was like 17 or 18. So that's what I've been doing for the last 10 years is traveling around, snowboarding, jumping off cliffs. People take my picture, goes in a movie or a magazine or something, and that's essentially my whole life. So for the last 10 years, I've just been traveling kind of nonstop. I'm either traveling or injured. I was ready for a change of pace. I moved here to Mount Bachelor when I was like 15 or something, and I love it. It's such a fun mountain but I don't get to spend very much time here anymore because I'm just traveling. I built this little micro dojo to give me a reason to stay at home and to not travel. So I built a house on wheels to stay put. So this is the fire truck. It's a 1953 GMC fire truck. I don't think they had a model for it then. I got a USA license plate because it's actually hasn't been registered yet. Still been meaning to do that for the last like eight months. On this side, we got my ladder, and it may look like it's just an uh, accessory for looks, but this is how I access the roof to get up to the solar panels and clean those off when they get covered in snow. So I use the ladder almost every day. The ladder's pretty sweet. My solar setup, everything's goal zero. It's two 90 panels, and then the Yeti 1250 underneath my sink, and then goal zero lights throughout. I was living up here in like January and February, so there wasn't much solar to be had. Never got low, never ran out, never had to plug into anything else. It was totally sufficient for off the grid living, which was sweet. Six snowboards for whatever the day is calling for, whether it's a big one, a medium one, a tiny one, or whatever. Got lots of snowboards. That's the outside of it. It's actually just like an old U-Haul box kind of style. You know, it's not as cool as it looks. It's just a U-Haul box. I live in a U-Haul. But the porch is the best part. So this is the porch. I usually, I got a cooler out here right now, but I usually have a little lawn chair. I have like my snowboard waxing rack right there. This is an old bed frame, super fancy. All right, come on in. Just gravity fed water to my sink that then most of the time it just drains out onto the ground or there's another tank down there that it can drain to. This is my grill, fits on my cubic mini wood stove and it has like a temperature gauge and everything on it. I made artichokes in here, um, steamed veggies. I don't know, I was just learning how to cook, but if you knew how to cook, you could probably make anything on this, but I made everything that I knew how to make. It's a nice addition slash accessory to the cubic mini wood stoves. This is definitely the best investment, best thing that I have going on in this place. Heats the place perfectly. They make two sizes. This is the big side. It's called the Grizzly, and then the little one's called the Cub. It fits seven inch pieces of wood, which look like, you know, it's like little pieces of wood that you're putting in there. And it doesn't burn all the way through the night, but it burns probably until like 3 a.m. or so. That's like four or five days of cold, cold weather. That'll, that'll keep you toasty. And then the best, best invention that I came up with my whole time living here 
I was trying to figure out how to dry the boots. I was gonna put them under here on a little shelf, but it doesn't get as much heat down there. And then I thought if there's only a way to fasten boots to a ceiling, and then I just put some old snowboard bindings on the ceiling, just screwed directly into the ceiling, and it works fantastically. I start a fire in the morning and then it warms up my boots and it like preheats them a little bit every morning. So that's pretty sweet. I got two pairs in case I have a guest. A lot of hooks and storage everywhere. Hooks here, goggle storage here, um, 16 coat racks between the two of them. Everyone comes in and they all love them. Like, oh my God, where'd you get these things? I know I always wish I had a better story, but I got them on Amazon. Normally, I don't have it right now, but there's like a big Yeti cooler, one of the big ones, and it serves as one of my benches, and then it's all my food. This is the couch slash guest bed. This, uh, we got a couple hooks here, and it folds flat into another bed. Something like this. And so on my bed, I went with four inches of foam. It's like medium density foam, and it's super comfy, it's perfect. And then on the guest bed, I went with just two inches of foam. So it's comfortable, but not too comfortable. So people don't overstay their welcome. You don't want any move-ins in your micro dojo. It's not quite big enough for that, so. Make it comfortable, accommodating, but not plush. There's a lot of windows. There's seven windows, eight windows. I built curtains. I think they're in my storage right now. Hey, I got more storage. This is this is all my closet. Three storage bins. We're now in the dining room. Everything folds. Chairs fold. Uh, table folds. Eat my food. Do whatever you need to do. And then it folds back down. Because then there's like pretty good amount of floor space. I can do yoga. I can have dance parties. Yeah, I think it's like 90 square feet with the loft. Oh, my fruit basket is all, got a little wonky in the drive. Fruit basket, I thought was kind of dorky. It is dorky, but uh, it's actually kind of nice. You know, put my bananas and avocados and stuff and gave it a little color. I don't have anything to go in the fruit basket right now, but. This is all my food. This was always like tools, random junk, and then wine. And that's everything. We got heat, we got water, we got a bed, we got maple syrup inside of this cabinet. Oh man, my maple syrup went down again. Still good though. The best fire starter is toilet paper with a little bit of sugary maple syrup. It really goes up in flame then. So my countertops and my table are a material called paper stone. And it's like high-end recycled kitchen countertops. But if you go to, I think it's greencountertopsdirect.com, you can buy their like seconds and kind of their like salvage pieces for super cheap and it's a super good product super durable so they're kind of fancy but also super cheap because they're funky ones but this whole place is kind of funky so it works any micro dojo you're gonna want one fire extinguisher i almost checked this spot out right here see this little black burn mark almost burnt the place down one morning i was actually gone and uh friendly neighbor came over and put the fire out on my deck. Could have been anything that started the fire, but uh, it's probably the ashes that I set out there in a cardboard box and then the cardboard box caught on fire. But it could have been anything, hard saying. Then I have this Himalayan suit that they climb Mount Everest in. And it's ridiculous, but it's pretty much the greatest thing ever. I call him Bernie. I don't know what's a he, but whatever, I call him Bernie, and he like sleeps next to me under the blanket, so he stays kind of warm. And then in the morning, I like jump inside of Bernie, start the wood stove, go outside, clean the solar panels off, kind of do my morning chores. Yeah, it's all smiles in there. Advice if you want to buy a camper vehicle, don't like get caught up on the details. When I brought this up here. I like got the wood stove in the day before I brought it up here. I was like, all right, I got heat. I'll figure out the rest once I get up there. 
And I think that's the best way to figure out like what needs you have, try it out, trial and error, see what works before you like build it to perfection and then you like move into it and realize this is on the left when it should be on the right. Because it's, it's all the little things in tiny spaces, it's the little things that make a big difference.